Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Siantan. Union Health and Family Welfare Minister Dr. Harsh Vatan chaired the 16th high-level group of ministers, GOM, meeting at New Delhi yesterday to review, monitor and evaluate the evolving situation on COVID-19. During the meeting, the GOM was briefed about the latest status, response and management of COVID-19 in the country. GOM Chairman Dr. Harsh Barton said that India is in a much better place than the rest of the world, but there was no scope for complacency. The GOM was also apprised about the growing medical infrastructure in the country. It was informed that as of yesterday, the COVID-related health infrastructure was strengthened with the availability of 958 dedicated COVID hospitals with over 1.67 like isolation beds, over 21,000 ICU beds and over 73,000 oxygen-supported beds. He said 2,313 dedicated COVID health centres and 7,525 COVID care centres are now available to combat COVID-19 in the country. The ventilators available for COVID beds are 21,494. The centre has further placed an order of 60,848 ventilators. It was also informed that ICMR's testing capacity has increased through 553 government and 231 private laboratories and more than 49 like cumulative tests have been conducted in the country so far. APC and COVID-19 in charge of Dimapur district, Y. Kiketo Sema has appealed to Peren and Mon districts to be mentally prepared to receive the COVID-19 asymptomatic patients of their respective home districts. Briefing media persons in Dimabu yesterday, Kiketo said, initially all asymptomatic positive cases were kept at Dimabu COVID hospital, despite standing standard operating procedures to send them to their respective home districts. However, the 100 bedded COVID hospital is now fully occupied and left with no alternative but to send them to their respective districts. He informed that around 11,000 returnees, which is 75% of the expected returnees, have so far arrived in Nagaland from different parts of the state. Kigeto said some village councils and colonies are denying entry of persons returning from quarantine centres into their respective jurisdictions. He said the government will not allow NGOs to go beyond the limit, adding that strict actions will be initiated against those found violating the norm. SP Crime and PR of Nagaland Police, Manoj Kumar A. informed that Bangaj Gupta the main accused in a cybercrime case was arrested from Guru Shestra, Haryana, yesterday. Police said Gupta, who has been on the run from police for the last several days, was arrested by a team of Haryana police and Nagaland police officers. The arrest was made after a known bailable warrant of arrest was issued by Judicial Magistrate First Class Kohima. Police said a cybercrime police station of Nagaland police had taken cognizance of various social media trolls uploaded by the accused, which were informatory, abusive, divisive and prejudicial to the maintenance of social peace and harmony attracting the provisions of Indian penal code. According to police, the accused made serious allegations without any basis and authentication. Further, police said it is investigating into involvement of other go conspirators on various social media platforms, if any, in furtherance of this criminal act. Nagaland police appeal to the citizens of Nagaland to be very cautious and discreet in soliciting comments in social media without verifying facts. Indian Railways will continue to provide Shramik special trains within 24 hours after the demand is received from the states. Railway Ministry has requested the state governments to indicate their requirements about Shramik special trains. Railway Board Chairman Vinod Kumar Yadav said that Indian Railways will provide the desired number of Shramik special trains immediately within 24 hours of the request made by the state governments. Railways has also assured that it will provide additional Shramik special trains for any future requirement. 
more than 4,347 Shramik special trains have been operated by railways to transport approximately 60 lakh migrant workers to their destination states since 1st of May. Road Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Katkari has announced further extension of the validity date of motor vehicle documents till September this year due to COVID-19 situation in the country. The Ministry has issued an advisory to all states and union territories in this regard. With that, we end the morning news. Have a nice day.